61 home runs. What does that mean to you? <laughs> it, it's an incredible honor, you know, and getting a chance to be, you know, associated with, you know, one of the <laughs> Yankee greats, you know, one of baseball's greats, um, you know, be enshrined with him forever is, you know, it's words can't describe it, you know, and um, that's one thing that's so special about the Yankees organization is all the guys that came before us and kind of paved the way and, you know, played the game the right way, did the things the right way, did a lot of great things in this game and getting a chance to be, you know, mentioned with those guys now is, I, I can't even describe it. It's, it's, it's an uh, incredible honor, that's for sure. You had a moment with Roger Maris Jr. Uh, back there. Can you tell us, you know, what you said to him, what he said to you? Um, I'll keep most of, most of it between us, but uh, he just really was just congratulating, um, you know, saying he's got to spend a lot of time with my, my family and get a chance to meet them and um, just had a lot of great words to say. And I just, you know, really thanked him and um, said what an honor it was. And, you know, getting a chance to be associated with his with his father is something that he, <laughs> you, you dream about about things like that. And for him to come to all the home games, come out here to Toronto and support and be there. This is uh, it definitely means a lot. That's for sure. Eric. Eric, is there any sense of relief? Uh, definitely. <laughs> um, definitely some relief uh, getting to 61. You know, you try not to think about it, but it creeps into your head. And, but, um, you know, getting a chance to do it, you know, in a Yankee win, um, and especially on another night where, you know, Garrett Cole ties the, you know, all-time single season, you know, strikeout record, that's, you know, <laughs> that's a pretty special day right there. Otis, back right. <clears throat> uh, during the game, there was a shot of Roger Maris Jr. and your mom hugging after the home run. Uh, what does it mean to be linked like that? It's going to be forever now. And also just... What type of a ride has it been having your mom here and what she means to you? You know, you know, like I said, you know, getting a chance to be connected with, you know, a baseball legend um, and, you know, a great family is, it's, I, I, can't, I can't even describe it right now. You know, it's just so, you know, such an honor, you know, the, what Maris, you know, did in this game, you know, how he played the game, you know, what type of person he was. Um, getting to be linked with him forever is, you know, a moment that I definitely will never forget and, you know, I'll definitely cherish it. But, you know, having my mom here uh, supporting is, you know, she's been with me through it all. You know, that's that's for sure. From the Little League days, you know, from, um, uh, you know, getting me ready for school, you know, taking me to my first couple practices and games and, you know, being there in my first professional game, being there at my debut, and then, you know, now getting a chance to be here for this. This is, uh, this is something special, but, you know, we're not done yet, so we'll have a couple more fun ones, that's for sure. Dave, same row. <clears throat> They're pitching you very carefully at times. Uh, was that, I don't know, did that make you anxious at all? Did you expand your strike zone in any way? Did you, did you looking back on it now? And also, can you just describe after you, you make contact, it's clear it's gone out, your, just your feelings going around the bases? I, I try not to change, change anything. You know, uh, my approach and, you know, my game plan is, you know, what got me to this point. And um, I didn't, I never really thought it would be fair to my teammates or, you know, the Yankees to be up here trying to, you know, chase a record you know my job is to go out there and be the best you know best hitter I can be and if that means taking a walk and you know, I gotta take a walk that means you know moving a guy over driving a guy in you know that's that's what this game's about you know it's, it's um you know so I never never really tried to change my plan you know like the other night getting a couple of walks you know it's we came away with the win you know that's what matters to me and um the last what was your second part <laughs> Well, when I hit it, I thought I, I thought I got enough, you know. But it's been a, it's been a couple games since I did that, you know. So <laughs> you never really know if it's going to get out or not. So I tried to sprint around the bases a little bit, and then once it got over the fence, you know, just a relief that, you know, now we're leading in the game, um, you know, because Garrett was pitching his butt off tonight, um, and then also, you know, like I said, getting a chance to, you know, tie Roger Maris. It's that's that stuff you, <laughs> you dream about. That it's it's not even real. <laughs> over the left, Ian and Tina. 
Aaron, you're, you're tied with Maris, but of all the figures in Yankee mythology, Babe Ruth is probably the most iconic. You can now say you did something he was not able to do. How does that sound to hear that? You know, pretty incredible. You know, there's a lot of things Babe Ruth did that I definitely couldn't do. And, um, you know, getting a chance to sit at 60 for a while there with the babe was was nice, you know, but getting a chance to now, you know, sit at 61 with another Yankee right fielder that, you know, hit 61 home runs and, you know, MVPs, world champions, it's, this is, it's pretty cool. Tina. Um, excuse me, Aaron, what is the status of the baseball? Where is it? Oh, we got it, um, you know, our equipment manager, um, Rob Kakuza, got it, got it locked up for us. You know, thankfully I hit it into uh, the Blue Jays bullpen. And um, what I heard from our bullpen guys, Romano um, was the guy that kind of handed it over, grabbed it, handed it over. So, you know, getting that type of support and that class act move from from him, you know, who's one of the best in the game. That uh, definitely means a lot. I got to try to find him here and, and thank him for that. That's for sure. Uh, front left, Brian. Aaron, it, it was about a week now that the sports world has been watching pretty much every at bat for you. What was that like? <laughs> just, just another day. You know, I, I try not to try not to look into it too much. It, it's tough at times. It, Yankee Stadium for sure when you got you know 45,000 standing on their feet for every pitch and um, but you know at the end of the day you know when I look in that in that dugout and see my teammates who are all locked in and ready to go you know that's that's who I do it for and you know, that's who I you know show up every single day ready to go ready to go to work for them and you know, I never wanted to try to make it about myself I wanted to make it about the team and what we're trying to accomplish here especially you know going out there and winning the division so you know, having the support from my teammates day in and day out and, you know, them being along this journey with me and what an incredible season we've all had so far. It's um, they're the ones that really kept me focused and locked in on just the task at hand. You seem to handle the attention pretty well. What about your family? How did they handle the whole week? I think they were good. <laughs> I think they were definitely good, you know. Uh, my wife and was, you know, been with me through it all and um, she's calm as a cucumber, that's for sure. And then both my parents, you know, I think you've seen a couple of replays. And I, my dad knows when I get one. So there's been a couple of close calls and he knew right off the bat, like, ah, that's, that's nothing. You know, he'll get it next time. So, you know, just having their support and you know, having my mom here with me to um, be here for this moment, it's, it means the world to me, that's for sure. We're going to take a few more. Dan to the right. Aaron, you took a, a pretty big bet on yourself before this season, and to answer that with 61 home runs so far, what does that say about what you've been able to do? <clears throat> you know, like, like I said in the beginning, I never, I never saw it as a bet. I never saw it as a bet on myself. You know, I knew no matter what, I'd be playing this year with the New York Yankees wearing pinstripes, and um, you know, we weren't able to agree on something, but you know, I changed my focus right then and there to. Hey, let's go out there and you know have a great season for my teammates and do what I can to help put us in a good position for you know a long deep postseason run. So um, you know, I, it's, I'm, I'm just out there playing baseball. You know, I don't, I don't try to look at the stats, look at the numbers. You know, just this incredible group of guys that we have in that room who continue to you know motivate me. We continue to push each other day in and day out. You know, that's that's what it's all about. You know, that's that's the grind. That's what that's what you look forward to and. Um, yeah, I don't know about the betting on myself. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Play tonight. I know you talked to Boone about it last night and not take a day off. Well, I actually talked to our manager, Rizzo. He, uh, he was the one that I had to gamble with to, to get into the lineup. But he thankfully, he, he gave me a little, little DH day and a little leadoff spot um, with some good protection behind me. So um, I was... You know, I know we clinched a division, but you know, there's still a lot of important games out there that we got to play, and you know, I, I want to be in them. Christy, you've pretty much been pretty quiet about this throughout. When did you kind of start to feel that this might happen? And second of all, have you been contacted by the Hall of Fame about anything from tonight? Nothing from the Hall of Fame, um, but I, I just got off the field, so maybe here in the next couple of days we might hear something. A judgy. Um, 
Yeah, they reached out. Okay. <laughs> there, there you go. There you go. Um, but thinking about it, like I said, I, I, you, you can't think. You, it's tough not to think about it, and you, you hear the noise, you hear the buzz. But when I step out on that field, when I step in the box, you know, all the hype, all the noise, it, it goes aside, and you just got to focus on competing, you know. And that's I owe a lot of that to my teammates and coaching staff that have been here with me and you know, helped motivate me and kept me locked in on, you know, the task at hand, which is to go out there and win games. So. Like I said, you know, being in first place and getting a chance to play, you know, meaningful, meaningful games here in September, I think is really what it has helped me. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. They, you know, I'm, I'm still a little upset. They took my home run bat from my first game, and I went in a massive slump after that. So I don't know if I'll be giving them any, anything <laughs> just yet. We'll see. Uh, last one right here, Randy. I think a few days ago you said that uh, you might study up on Roger Maris before approaching him. I'm wondering if you learned at all about his story and when he was in Ruth that a lot of people were, were rooting for Mantle. And uh, did, did that make you uh, feel for him and make this, you appreciate this even more? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, dealing with that type of scrutiny and attention and media fanfare, love and hate, you know, that's. That's tough to deal with. Besides playing one of the toughest, you know, sports in the world and trying to do the toughest thing in, in all of, all of sports, which is you know hitting a round baseball with a round bat. So, you no, know, I I definitely feel for him. You know, like I said, when you're at Yankee Stadium and you got 45,000 on their feet cheering and locked in on every single pitch and at bat, and you, know, you turn on the news and you see stuff flashing there, it's it's uh, it, it can weigh on you. Um, so I definitely, you know, what he went through at that time, and like you said, you know. And the kind of ploy between him and Mantle and Maris and back and forth. And it's, it's incredible what he was able to accomplish, that's for sure.